Hello, my name is Janet Marlowe. I'm a composer, a researcher, and CEO of Pet Acoustics. Hmm, Pet Acoustics, what does that mean? That means that your pet, whether it be a dog, a cat, a horse, or a bird, lives in air, and air transports sound, and sound affects animals greatly. As a matter of fact, they hear much more than we do. A horse hears more than a human, a dog hears twice as much as a human, and a cat hears three times more than a human. So imagine their world in your home is invisible to us. We don't hear what they're hearing, but you know your dog will run to the window, start barking, you go to the window, do you see anything? No, but your dog knows there's something out there. They're hearing. So my passion in life at this stage is to bring the idea of uh, knowledge of sound and how it affects your pet in the home, in the kennel, at the vet, in the car, or just generally. Stress is a big uh, proponent of um, pet life, and I know pet parents have a lot of um, questions as to do you use, um, do you turn the radio on when you leave your dog at home alone, or you put the TV on, you know, just what do you do, what is the best thing to do? Well, there are issues to deal with. What are the problems? Separation anxiety, thunderstorm nerves, reactions to fireworks, and other behaviors, introducing dogs to other dogs, um, many issues, bark, excessive barking in an urban environment. So how do we access the ear of an animal to give them a sense of balance. Because balance is really what we're all looking for in a, in a living environment, especially dogs and cats in our homes. So is it just classical music? Is it James Taylor? Well, basically, my concept is to bring music into a state that is species specific. So I've done a lot of research. The research shows that if you go above a certain frequency, you are going into the alert level of that animal. In other words, we don't hear the same as animals. It's called psychoacoustic juxtaposition. So for example, we will hear um, a loud car going past us. It'll affect us in our body, we may flinch, but our brain will analyze, oh, that sound was over there and it's not going to be dangerous to me not so much for a dog or a cat. They will hear a sound that is beyond their capacity to feel relaxed. And they, all they will know is that it's a loud shot of volume, it's a high frequency, and they're out of here. Now in nature, they can run two miles away and they can find hiding. But in our homes, not so much. They're limited to movement. So providing music for them that is species specific, that is geared specifically for how they hear and bringing it into a comfort zone is really what pet acoustics is all about and my passion for life to bring this understanding to pet parents. Horses. Horses are um, rhythmic creatures. They walk in two, four, three, four, and four, four time. They live in air more than dogs and cats. So the music that I compose is within a very comfortable range for them in their hearing and I also make the music very rhythmic and you can actually see a horse in their stall kind of moving to the music rhythmically because that's their life, that's genetically where they live. Birds, very often bird owners will find that their birds pluck their feathers and we, they are the most musical and they are the most communicative. They live in a community of sound. And very often when we bring them into our homes, um, they don't have that community anymore. So I create music that is designed for their hearing range with nature sounds and with other bird sounds so that they can relate to something when they're at home in your kitchen or wherever you have them and you're out and not communicating with them. And it gives them greater sense of satisfaction of community and something active to do and they stop picking their feathers. Dogs and cats prefer long sustained tones. So the music that I compose for them 
is always instruments like violins, harps, flutes, guitar, piano, um, no percussion, um, no human voice because again you don't want to create get them into that alert level which can cause stress and it is amazing to see how an animal will respond to music so let me ask you this do you use music to relax too? Do you listen to music wherever you are? Music is affecting us at gas stations, at the dentist, certainly in the mall and restaurants. And music moves life force. And because animals hear more than we do, the music and the sound that they live in is even greater importance for them. So pet acoustics is all about the sonic environment surrounding your pet and how to relieve their stress for separation anxiety, thunderstorm nerves, travel, going to the vet, and keeping them in a state of balance that they so desire in their lives with us.